hottest places in the world where fresh water is scarce. So people try to do everything they can to get hold of potable water. There is an abundance of seawater in the world, but it is dangerous to drink it in large amounts because its high salt content can lead to dehydration. A small home distillation apparatus is enough to desalinate a small amount of water, but large-scale technology is required to satisfy larger needs. Desalination plants are usually built on coasts. First, water is purified mechanically. Then, there are several methods used for desalination. The simplest one is distillation, which is also used by the plant in this animation. Its purpose is to remove salt from the water by boiling it. Hot steam is pumped into these pipes, while the unheated seawater is sprayed from the top onto the surface of the hot pipes. Seawater cools the flow of the hot steam, which condenses into fresh water inside the pipe and flows out at the bottom. At the same time, steam from the heated seawater is conveyed into the heat pipe in the next distillation block. Desalinated water is collected from the heat pipe in the distillation block, while the concentrated salt water exits through the bottom of the distiller. Steam coming from the last block is reintroduced into the first one through a thermocompressor, which increases the pressure and temperature of the steam. The ion exchanger with electrically charged rosin beads. These are filled into a container in which an outlet pipe is located from water exits through the bottom of the distiller steam coming from the last block is reintroduced into the first one through a thermo compressor which increases the pressure and temperature of the steam the ice seawater with electrically charged rosin beads these are filled into a container in which an outlet pipe is located Seawater is added to the container from the top. Then, it flows to the bottom through the pores between the beads. As the water flows, the rosin beads bind the salt content of the seawater, and the accumulated water flows through a filter into the opening. Finally, the desalinated water leaves the container through the outlet pipe. Initially, there are positively and negatively charged counter ions on the surface of the electrically charged rosin beads. These are hydrogen and hydroxide ions from the water. The ionic strength of the positively charged sodium ions and the negatively charged chloride ions in the seawater, flowing through the pores, is higher than that of the counter ions, repelling them from the surface of the rosin beads. As a result,